Hello everybody, and today, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server. Quite possibly the hardest way ever. I'm just kidding, Hello. it's not that hard. No, not really too hard. Say something, Nick. Okay, so, the main thing is, Minecraft server generator. It makes it a lot easier. What you do is download it, link in the description. And you click on it, open it. As I say, run it. Running, running, running. Nick. What? And what this will turn out to be is, uh, this. It'll turn out to be this. Ah. And if it doesn't work, just keep trying. It'll come out of it eventually. And I don't know why I'm lagging. Oh yeah, and sometimes your server may oh. not turn on, so make sure you have a really fast computer for this. <laughs> doesn't have to be too fast, but downloading plugins for um is like the simplest yeah, this thing. Yeah, this is a plugin server though. So yeah. So okay. This is our first server. Yeah, that ain't crap. Okay, so here's all the settings that you like. Allow the Nether. Allow fighting. Spawn NPCs. Spawn monsters. Spawn animals online pvp generate structures hardcore who would do parkour though difficulty let's set it to like easy or something i don't know in the message of the day you can change it to hello but nuggets yeah yeah view distance max players if your computer's not that good change it to about five max pin height then when you open, but, um, the only, then that limit would only be five, so even if you're admin or anything else, you'll still won't be able to get on. Okay, try to get on, and this, leave this default. Here's ops, I'm just gonna up myself. Oh, so, so And down. now press generate server. Desktop, oh wait, um, actually... I can't do it to my desktop. I gotta do it to. Uh, uh, oh, you have to do a bunch of things to be able to make it so you actually a player um, can destroy a box. Hey, I'm gonna go with K B O B. Um, I'll save it to desktop, I guess. Oh, it actually did make a new folder. Okay. So what it does is it generates this. Now, what you want to do is this. Okay, it's probably like that. Actually, I know it is like that. Because oh, back. I already have a server running. So, yeah. Um, but it'll work like that. It should. So just our server, if you would like to join our server, it will be in the description so, below. Yeah, just open that. You know. It should run for you if you don't have a server running. And then, I'm now... Oh, and also, yeah, you're going to have to do a bunch of editing and stuff like that. Shut because up. Shut sometimes up. the shut war... Shut up! God dang it! <laughs> and here's all the properties again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how to do that. Whitelist, ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're all... Okay, so when you have it running, stop it. And then, um... Go to Google. I'm gonna show you how to port forward. This is the hardest part of it all. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm just kidding. It's not that hard. So what you want to do is enter your IP. Your um, I don't know what it's called, but the default one for me is, and it should be for like almost anyone else is 192.168.1.1. Enter and then it, the username and password for Netgear. Mine is the default password is admin. I mean the username and the password is password. It's really not that hard. Then log in. Go to advanced settings. Go to advanced setup. Go to port forwarding slash port triggering. This is my Minecraft server right here. But what you want to do is press add. Oops, not that. Um, add custom service. And then what you want to do is type in the name of it, Minecraft 
server. Leave it on TCP slash UDP. And then enter for this 25565. And then 25565. And then that'll be like that. And then now what you want to do is figure out the um, IP that you have it running on. Mine is 8. What you want to do is go to CMD. Now type in IP con big. Now it should be your IP IPv4 address. Mine is 192.168.1.8. So I put in dot eight, and you don't have to, but I check this, and then press apply. And it failed because I already have the same service. <laughs> Funny! Just kidding, it's not that funny. So. I'm in a Minecraft world! Yeah, that's basically All it. The town. One with some diamonds. And your Minecraft server. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, how to get on your server. That's the IP for you. For It should be. By um, it should be low coal host. Why I don't know why I can't reach it. I mean, low coal. It's in the wild. Okay, that should work though. If it doesn't work, you're gonna want to go to Google again. My internet's crappy today. I don't know why. Because you were in a scrappy town. No words! IPchicken.com. IPchicken.com. And since you, I want people on my server, that is the IP. One, and then you gotta add, for my server, you gotta add colon 25575, but for yours, it should be colon 25565, the default. And, um,. Let's see if this is lagging that much to show you how it, how good it is. Ugh. The frame rate lag is just my fault. Ugh. And I'm using Bandicam and it sucks at recording gameplay. I usually record fraps and it doesn't make my computer lag this much. And I'm on power saver. So, yeah. This is what it should turn into. I'm going to make a tutorial part 2 how to make it the bucket. <laughs> Bradley, there's one more thing. Bradley, there's something really amazing. I need to show you it. Come here, follow me, follow me, you need to follow me now. Okay, so I, 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 it, it's so amazing, I, I just can't explain it. I've got one minute, Nick. No, I don't care, just hurry, hurry, hurry. Ready? Are you ready for it? What is it? Hold on, I, I gotta do this. Alright, uh. Look at it, it's a tree! Oh my god! And Oh crap! Okay, gotta go, guys. Hope this helped. If it does, just like and subscribe. Bye bye.